and I'm going to log in to Extreme Cloud IQ and give you a quick walkthrough of what the interface looks like and um, show you some of the different tabs that are available. So you can see here, I am in the Extreme Cloud IQ admin portal. This is a great thing for partners and resellers, but it allows you to access either your own individual network, or if you see on the right-hand side, I have the ability to manage other deployments that I've been granted access to. So if you have lots of customers that you're supporting through Extreme Cloud IQ, you can have a single login, a single interface that you can go into and uh, directly get into their network, make any changes, make sure there's no problem, pull data out of it. So those are accessible via the hyperlinks on the right-hand side or I can optionally choose to go in and manage my own network on the left-hand side. That's a really great way to manage different customers. We also have an MSP version of Extreme Cloud IQ, which allows true managed services um, through a single interface as well. So if you're a reseller, you wanna just be able to manage your customers, you can do that through the version um, that you saw through the admin portal. If you're also a true MSP, you can log in um, and do the, the full MSP version, which you can see I'm pulling up right now. I'd be able to move between organizations and make um, large blanket changes across all of my customers or potentially go in and cherry pick which ones I want to look at as well. So it's very um, customized to what you need to access and what you need to be able to update um, or potentially monitor at any given time. So right now, I am in um, one of our networks that's being run out of our Salem office. Um, I want to start in the Insights tab. This is a really great way to get a high-level overview of everything that's happening on the network. So you can see it's broken up into status cards or health scores across the top in different categories. So we have devices, clients, Wi-Fi, network services, applications, and security. I can also look at specific locations or specific buildings of my network and drill down into those if necessary. So this is a great way to log in and quickly assess if everything's working well, if I need to dive in and maybe fix a problem, or if I have time to you know, go get a coffee before I go in and check the network. This is a really great way to do that. So you can see I have the health score. They're color-coded. I'm gonna click on devices as an example. It gives me more information on to what is actually creating that score. So within this tab, device health, I see some of the calculations and algorithms that are contributing to my health score, which is 100 right now, which is great. It's excellent health. So we do color coding and we also show you the health score just to very quickly allow you to assess what's happening. I can see I have a time slider across the top so I can look at my usage, my clients, and my health over time. I can adjust the time slider based on the period of time that I'm interested in, and I can also adjust the time range more generically as well, so I can look up to a month of data at a time from this particular view. I can also scroll down to see things like device availability, hardware health, configuration and firmware score, I can also look at the maximum client capabilities of all the clients on my network. So this isn't necessarily how people are connecting, but the maximum capabilities that my devices are able to support. So this is a really great way to assess if you're serving your clients appropriately, or it's a really great way if you're a reseller to potentially upsell your customer on new pieces of hardware. So for example, if I went up here and I saw that I had quite a few 802.11ax devices in the network, that would be a great way to say, hey, maybe you need to buy some new access points that support this standard to make sure that you're serving your clients appropriately and you're not holding anyone back with old hardware. So this is a great way to equip a network administrator with the information they need to be successful. And this is something that is unique to Extreme Cloud IQ and the Extreme offering. So that's under device health. I can also go up here and change the category. If I wanted to look at applications health, that would take me into the drill down of what my application health score is. Again, I can change the time range of the period that I wanna look at. 
I can see the top applications that are running. In this case, there's some general web traffic, Amazon, CNN, Apple, Best Buy, Google. So people are going and probably doing some holiday shopping. But I can see how much traffic is being utilized, how much data is being dedicated to those applications. And again, what based on what I see, I could potentially go make changes to my network in order to maybe restrict access to certain applications or prioritize other applications that are focused on productivity so that I make sure most of my users aren't just watching cat videos on YouTube all day. They're actually doing work when they're at their job. So the application help is a really great way to do that. Um, I could also drill down into any of those other status cards, not going to just for the sake of the brevity of this specific demo. I want to point out a few other interesting features here. Um, but again, we are going to be sending out a document after this webinar to walk you through logging, um, creating a, a profile and actually getting your own account for Extreme Cloud IQ. So you can go, go in after and, and take a longer look and get yourself familiar with the, the features here. So one of the other things I wanted to show you on this Insights tab is the time lapse. And this is something that allows you to watch where your users are authenticating or what access point they're connecting to throughout the day. So over a 24-hour period, I can see blooms next to access points as users move throughout the facility. This is really great to track where most of your users are. Um, you can get even more insights in places like hospitality or retail to see where your users are congregating or maybe if you need to send a representative over to help someone. I can also click on a specific access point to get an idea of who's connected to that AP in real time and then also the health score of that individual client. So there's a lot of different ways you can access the information. I can also go down and see the connected clients on this particular floor in the connected clients chart below. There's also the ability to utilize BLE, um, so existing BLE either in the access point or the client devices, and I can more granularly track a user throughout the floor pan. So if you guys can see, I'm not sure how real time this is coming through the webinar, but I can actually track this device with the blue dotted line. I can see what their footfall traffic is throughout the facility. So again, that's utilizing not only Wi-Fi location, but also integrating with BLE to be able to get more granular location traffic from this Insight tab. And then there's a few other features within this Insights tab. One of those is comparative analytics. This is something that's really powered by the cloud. We allow our customers to opt into this tool. And what the tool does is it allows you to anonymously compare some of your network statistics with people like you. So in this demo account here, you can see I'm in a retail industry with 100 to 11 to 100 access points, and I'm going to benchmark things like number of unique client devices, bandwidth usage, and clients with poor health against other people in the same vertical that are in a similar size organization to me. So this is a really great way to kind of step back and see, you know, is my network working appropriately or maybe do I need to make some changes in order to adjust my score on this comparative analytics tab. I can look at those currently or historically, and it's just a great way, again, to give you a little bit more perspective, take you out of the bubble of your own network. So a lot of people don't know if it's operating well or not. They just, you know, take an educated guess. So this is a great way to get around that utilize the power of the cloud to anonymously compare yourself to other people that are also using the cloud. So that's called comparative analytics. Um, we also have tools, things like proximity and presence. I was talking about Bluetooth earlier to track location. This is where you can actually add those Bluetooth devices, give them labels, descriptions of where they might be located in your facility to allow you to customize that location story can also look at presence, so you can look at things like, how, are people walking by my building? Are they actually coming in? Are these new clients? Are they returning? Have I seen them before? Are people, again, just coming into the building and not connecting to the network? Are they actually associating and going through my authentication protocol? That's a great way to look at um, some of your presence statistics. You might have noticed as I've been moving through this platform, 
there's purple cameras in some of the tabs. That's actually a way I could click on this and get a quick YouTube video to actually describe what this tool is doing and ways that I can optimize its use. So again, once you have your own account, if you wish to, you can click on those purple cameras and it will allow you to get more information on the tab that you're sitting on, or again, more information on the tool that you're looking at to make sure that you're utilizing it appropriately, or at least in the most optimal way. All right, let me move through a couple other portals here before we jump back over to answer questions. Just wanted to show you the configure tab as an example. Um, let me click on one of these here. So this is where you'd actually go in and configure your network. I mentioned a few times we can support wireless switching and routing all from within this single platform. That first allows me to set up a wireless network so I can create my SSID. I can um, choose my authentication mechanism, whether I want to do something like 802.1x or private pre-shared keys or maybe WPA3, which is the new security standard. I can also set up a radius server through this tab. I can create user profiles, so you even get more granular under the SSID level. Um, and I can move through the wireless configuration first. You also have the option to configure switches and go into this template as an example. This allows you to do device configuration for a switch. So you can do um, STP configurations, PSD, flow control, everything through this um, interface. If I want to do it uh, via port configuration, I can also do this if you're more visually inclined. I can click on a specific port and make changes or go down here and change something from a trunk port to a access port or a data port. So you can go through that. You also have the ability to work through supplemental CLI directly from this interface if you're more comfortable working with switches that way. And I can also do the same configuration for routers. So again, we want to have a single pane of glass that you can access all of your hardware devices, get them up and running. And once they're up, then you can do all of your monitoring and data analytics through this platform as well. So this is where I do all my routing configurations. Additional settings, you can get very deep into configuration if you wish, or you can set up a network in you know, 15 to 20 minutes and just get it up and running. So it's really up to you, the reseller, or your customers, how much you want to configure within this portal, all the way to deploying policy from the same tab. So again, I mentioned before the continuous delivery, the continuous innovation. That's just us adding more functionality to this platform. You have complete control over your customer's network through this. So the deploying policy, whether you want to push um, an updated configuration or do a firmware update, that is completely up to you. Extreme is never going to directly touch your customer's hardware. Again, we're just going to add features that you can choose to use or not through this Extreme Cloud IQ portal. All right, let me jump to the dashboard. This is another way to get a high-level overview of things that are happening on your network. So you can see things like how many pieces of hardware you have connected, total applications that are running, your clients and users, security if you have any rogue APs. We're doing a lot of testing, so we typically have a lot of those showing up here in this uh, status bar. I also have that same time range and I can actually dynamically adjust this to look at a particular period of time, and the widgets below will update based on that time period. So you can see the application groups are adjusting, my top applications, my usage by my, my customers um, are moving through here. I can also look at wired, top wired utilization, um, also access point utilization here. This is great for capacity planning, or I can look at simultaneous connections over time from this dashboard. So again, this is kind of taking a step back and just getting a high level of all your locations at one time. I can, however, filter the data if I want to. So if I want to filter by a specific client OS type, a network policy, a location, I can do that on the left-hand side. I can save filters and apply those across tabs as well. So again, we try to make accessing your data easy and allowing you to segment that data in a way that you think is most important, um, that's what we want to support. Let me click on one of these hyperlinks here to give you an overview of one of our other features 
called Client 360. This is, uh, the name is pretty intuitive, a 360 view of a specific client on your network. So on the left-hand side, I can see things like what type of device they're on, their username, where they're located. On the right-hand side, I get more information on their actual connectivity. So if I go down here into session details, for example, I can see things like their RSSI, their signal-to-noise ratio, their Wi-Fi health, and then I can also benchmark that against people that are close to them within the building. I can also see how their client radio is connected to the network. So this looks like it's an older device. It only has one spatial stream that it supports. I can look at their roaming history as well throughout my building. So these are also color-coded. So I can see very quickly if they're having any issues roaming. This would show up under authentication or if they had a DHCP. DHCP problem. I could also drill down to get more specific information if I want to. So for example, in this case, I can see it took 120 milliseconds for them to authenticate to the PSK. So this is, again, a great way that you can drill down if you want, or you can simply scroll through, make sure everything's green, and log off from there. I can also see what this individual client is doing on my network. So we have Instagram, another media, Twitter, Exchange, iTunes, LinkedIn, doesn't look like they're doing a lot of work. So based on what I see here, again, I could go back to my configurations and maybe rate limit Facebook or block it for this particular user. But again, we want to equip you with the intelligence. You can choose to make a change or you can just have your network continue to run based on what you see. All right, last thing I want to show before jumping back over to the slide. Your cloud is a really good way to look at the scope of our cloud. So this is um, an example of one of our data centers. We can see the aggregate daily data traffic. We're looking at over 3.8 petabytes of data right now through this data center. We can see where some of the customers are located. Current active clients, over 2.3 million, 3.2 billion management events per day on average. So this is where all of our data, we're able to collect it, analyze it, create those machine learning benchmarks. And the goal is that through um, the next couple months, we're going to start introducing some artificial intelligence type features into this platform to even further simplify the process of managing your network and troubleshooting, making sure everything's working appropriately.